Hi you guys, welcome to this month's chat video where I can kind of just like chill, relax, chat with you guys and let you know some things that have been going on here. I'm sorry, I'm making this so shaky. Things that have been going on here um, with the channel, but also some things just kind of going on in my personal life. Um, it's kind of like our chance to catch up. So if you're new here, you're kind of going to get to know me a little bit <laughs> a little bit better during this video, but be sure to introduce yourself in the comment section so I can get to know you a little bit better as well. Um, and then of course, like, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to get notified for future videos like this one. So I always start out the Let's Chat video with a little bit of like channel news. Um, and really the only thing I have is like a big sigh of relief because, um, and I knew this would happen, but um, the uh, past few months have been kind of crazy. I've had like big projects um and now that so the one in august was the original sewing and quilt expo that i was teaching at that was huge massive the one in september was the um sew along that i did you guys might not realize this may i don't know some people make the sew alongs look so easy but for me it is a lot <laughs> of work um I, it's like you know you're sewing and you're like doing your thing but you have to stop you know every single time like there's a step in the instructions and stop and explain it and then explain it in a way that you know you guys will be able to understand it's just completely disruptive to the sewing process and it kind of uses like two different sides of my brain in a way so it's more than anything it's just exhausting <laughs> it's exhausting putting together a sew along um but that is done i'm really really proud of it i hope you guys even if you're not going to make the garment even if you're like knit jumpsuits are just not my thing there's a lot of really great information hidden, little nuggets hidden in there. So um, hopefully you'll go watch and get some tips um, on how to sew lots of different garments, not just the jumpsuit. Um, but now that that is over, now that the expo is over, I don't have any big things in October. I do have um, my skill pop classes, I'll talk to you about those here in a little bit. Um, but other than that, like I really don't have much, which is really nice because it's opening up my schedule for like a lot of really fun things, you know, um, social things. Um, and that's whenever I'm able to like create things like the guide, like the ultimate garment sewing guide of guides that I made for you guys, a little freebie that I have. When I, that's when, This is to the time when I'm able to make stuff like that before things get crazy again. Because to be real, in November, I have the, um, the holiday gift guide. And that is huge because I have to coordinate with all the sponsors and, you know, get all the products so that I'm able to kind of give you a guide that is really genuinely helpful and helps you determine, you know, what you want to ask for for the holidays. So, this is like only a small little breath, but it's a breath nonetheless, and I am appreciative of it. Um, last month, I also started a little bit of a new feature in the Let's Chat video. It's a sewing channel shout out. And I just wanted to do this because there are so many great sewing channels out there that have, you know, a few subscribers, a thousand or so, but they do really, really great work. And there's really no reason why they shouldn't have more subscribers. Um, so I thought I would just tell you some of my favorite and why they're my favorite. And then you can go give them a follow and help them build their channel. And then we can have even more YouTubers or so tubers, as I'm going to start calling us, <laughs> um, with really great content. And you know, it's, you know, great for everybody. It's great all around. So for this month, I am featuring Lost My Thread, which I absolutely just love that channel name. It's so, so, so cute. Run by a woman named Teresa. She has such like a sweet energy. Like you just watch her and you're just like, you are so nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she just has that kind of demeanor, but she posts about once a week. Um, and she does all the usual stuff. Like she does makes and plans and hauls and all of that. But the thing that I liked watching the most recently was she did this series where she took two different dungarees or overalls patterns, sewed them both, and then compared which one she liked the best. So I thought that was just a really insightful way of 
helping us decide like if you're looking to make overalls you probably want to watch those videos um to compare the two that that she made you know obviously she can't make them all but um she did pick two popular ones so I thought that that was kind of fun like a little bit of like a runoff type of thing um for overall so a lot of fun ideas coming from her channel go give her a sub let her know that i sent you and give her lots of love okay next up is what i bought you guys maybe because i was so busy i didn't buy much i even went to the joanne sales you know they had the massive 99 cent quick sew simplicity sale the guy in front of me literally had a cart of like a hundred patterns all I could think was that he's reselling them somewhere because even if he turns around and sells them for two dollars he's making a hundred percent profit but that just seems like a lot to do for one dollar so I don't know I don't maybe he's holding on to them and I don't know he had a whole cart full and they were not like acknowledging any sort of limit which I was like wow but I um didn't get anything from the simplicity quick sew sale um, and when I went to the McCall sale, I tried to buy more than one thing, but they were out. They were out of everything. And I go, so the sale starts on Thursday and I was there Friday morning and by then they were all gone. But I did end up getting this little pattern. Remember this from the um, first impression video? Just love this little romper. So, so, so cute. Great little robe um, and jumpsuit. So I was able to grab that. I haven't gotten any fabric. I didn't buy any fabric at all. So I'm proud of myself for that though, because there's no reason to buy for the sake of buying. You know what I'm saying? Um, even with the patterns, like even though I wasn't able to get all that I wanted, do I really need those? Mm, probably not. All right, now we're going to get into my rapid fire. This is where I discuss what I'm watching, what I'm reading, my latest obsession and something new I'm trying. I love it when you guys answer these questions in the comment section below too. It always just, I don't know, it feels more like a conversation and I can get to know not only you guys better, but get to know like some cool things that are happening that, you know, maybe just aren't in my circle that aren't popping up on my social media that aren't my friends aren't talking about um you guys have told me about great tv shows and books and products to try and all that kind of stuff so um answer those four questions or any of them in the comments section what you're watching what you're reading something new you're trying and something that you're obsessed with lately all right so for me what i'm watching all of the like fall network shows came back um, so I have been watching a lot of those. My guiltiest pleasure is reality competition shows. I say it's a guilty pleasure, but I'm not even that guilty. About, I don't feel that guilty about it. I feel no shame. I just love them so much. It's good, wholesome, fun content with a competition, which I am very competitive um, with myself and with others. Like it's just very natural to me. I can't help it. So I get invested in the competitors and I just, I just love it. Um, I will pretty much watch any competition show, like any of them, whether they're baking, whether it's like those ones where they have to do those like crazy obstacles, fine with me. Um, my absolute all time favorite one though is The Amazing Race. But um, right now we have Bachelor in Paradise, which is a competition. Thank you. It is. And uh, Dancing with the Stars. So I'm watching those two right now. I, You know what? I know the voice is on. I don't get into the singing competitions. And I don't really know why. Like, I used to be obsessed with American Idol. I watched X Factor a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I don't get into the competition, to the singing ones. Um, I mean, I will watch them, but it's not like I'm super, super invested in them. So yeah, just a lot of the network type of stuff. Um, I finished reading uh, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I liked it. Um, I liked how it wasn't necessarily like this big suspenseful thriller, but it definitely kept you engaged and it definitely kept you wanting to read. And I think that that probably is one of the best things you can say about a book, right? Like the storyline, the character development, all of that was really, really, really nice all the way until the very end. Um, you always wonder how those books that are kind of like a slow burn, like how they're going to be able to wrap it up and are they going to wrap it up in a satisfying way? And I feel like she was really able to accomplish that. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. I like Taylor Jenkins Reid a lot. I liked her um, Evelyn 
Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I like that better than this one. Um, I know that she wrote Daisy and the Sticks or Daisy and the Six and Reese Witherspoon's company is making a movie out of it. Um, so maybe I'll get to that one next. That one, I don't know if I'm really into the idea, the storyline of that one, but I do like to read the books before the movies come out. Um, right now I am like 30 minutes away from finishing a book called The Last Thing He Told Me. And I can't remember how I found out about this. Maybe one of you guys told me about it, but it is sort of a suspenseful book. It's about a woman whose husband basically like uh, this news about his company comes out and he like takes off. Um, so she goes on the hunt to try and figure out where he is, why he ran, what's been going on and learns like all this stuff about his past that she didn't really know. Um, so it's really good. It takes place uh, mostly in Austin. So if you're familiar with the Austin area, they do call out a lot of like streets and locations and the thing where they watch the bats and all of that. So um, you'll find a lot of joy in hearing those little bits and pieces about that. Also, the University of Texas at Austin, if you went there, there's a lot of reference to that as well. Um, so that's good. But I don't have anything planned next um so if you guys have a suggestion you kind of know what i like to read by now leave it in the comment section otherwise i'm gonna have to depend on reese witherspoon and her book club which i sort of hate doing because <laughs> you know what i mean it kind of feels i don't know like i'm sure it's authentic to a degree but i'd much rather get a recommendation from one of you guys um okay so what i've been trying lately and this is like strong try um, is like all of this new like beauty healthcare stuff. I don't know. I've been heavily influenced on Instagram, but I saw these like mitts that are made from some kind of viscose fabric, um, where you like get your skin damp, like really damp, like in a bath for like 10 minutes. And then you rub your skin and all of the dead skin comes off. And it's so gross, but also very, very, very gratifying and satisfying. But there is a health reason behind it. If you have any kind of dermatitis or any that, it really does help heal your skin by removing all of those layers. Um, so I was like, well, that sounds like fun. So let's try that. I've also been trying dermaplaning. And today, dermaplaning is where you take the razors and you like basically shave your face. Um, today, I did it just on one side. So can you guys tell which side of my face is dermaplaned and which side of my face is not dermaplaned? <laughs> I can't really tell with makeup on but I can tell when makeup is not on and I could tell when applying makeup. It's the difference between, let me try and explain this. It felt so weird to put makeup on the dermaplane side. The way that the brushes felt on my skin, how smooth it was, felt strange. I'm sure that that's good and just not used to it because I'm used to like the peach fuzz on my face plus like the layer of gunk that came that comes off like it's a whole other level of um exfoliating that I've never experienced before but this is the dermaplane side and I don't know it just feels really weird it feels really soft obviously but more than soft it's just really smooth which is strange but I like it <laughs> Um, I also got that it's like no poo. It's like shampoo that doesn't have any of the like harsh stripping chemicals. Um, why it's so expensive, I have no idea, but I feel like I got like an eight or 12 ounce bottle for $40. Now they swear that you will wash your hair less and you'll spend less money on all these other products. You don't have to buy a separate shampoo and conditioner, blah, 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 blah. But we'll see. Like, I am highly skeptical. I have scalpel dermatitis. Um, it actually causes, um, like, thinning. Um, I can't tell. I think it's gotten a little bit better. But sometimes, like, when I put my hair up, you guys can see my scalp. And sometimes you can't. I take all of the vitamins, everything orally I can possibly take. Um, and so I just thought, okay, well, maybe the shampoo is contributing to the dermatitis, like, continuing on or inflaming at some time so let's just try this so i'm going to try it and see how it works i'll report back next month <laughs> um and then something that i am obsessed with 
Oh wait, that was the obsessed with. Something I'm um something new I'm trying is actually really exciting. So I'm going to be volunteering. Um, I'm just looking for something more. You know what I mean? Like everything since I moved to Charlotte has been great. I met some friends, they're great, plenty of social things to do here, you know, all of that kind of stuff, but I'm still feeling like I don't know how to, I don't know what word it is. I'm just feeling not lost, but just feeling like there's more to this, more to be done. So I'm going to try out volunteering. I have applications out at three places. Like they legitimately like ask for a resume. They interview you. Like this isn't just like just show up. And I kind of thought that's how it was going to be. Like I just show up and I'm like, look at me. And they're like, you're great. And I'm like, thanks. And then that's it. But no, they take it very seriously. So um, I'm not going to be sharing what I'm doing, but I will continue to update you guys on like how it's going. Um, just know that if I am able, it will have something to do with kids, something to do with sewing, something to do with small businesses, something to do with uh, social media, you know, any of that kind of stuff. You know, the things that I'm like pretty good at already. Um, but if you know of any like national programs that have like local chapters um, in Charlotte that you volunteer with, like, you know, I don't know, make a wish or anything that you guys are involved with that I should look into, let me know. I'm, I, even if it's just one of those things where you just show up on a Saturday and help distribute food or whatever it is. So if you guys are heavily involved in anything um, that I should check out, let me know that as well. You can leave it in the comment section, obviously, if you want to be a little bit more discreet, you can email me inside the hymn at gmail.com. Um, so what to, what to expect this month? So I mentioned this a little bit earlier. I have two skill pop classes coming up this month. I have my serger basics class. So this will teach you everything you need to know about a serger. It'll teach you obviously how to thread your serger, but not only showing you how, also showing you the why. It will explain all the things that are on the side of your serger, your differential feed, stitch width, stitch length, all of that. It will show you, will uh, actually practice surging and balancing tension. So you will learn how to adjust the dials to get a good tension, what to look for when it's not right, what to look for when it is right, all of that kind of stuff. It's a really great class, very fun, very interactive. Um, so check that out. And then I also have a sewing basics class where we make like a very very easy project and that is this month it's going to be the um be an infinity scarf so if you want to learn how to make an infinity scarf you can come to that class it'll be super super fun or maybe like you don't want to make an infinity scarf but you know someone who's been dying to learn how to sew you can send them to my class and I'll teach them how to sew an infinity scarf. They'll learn the basics about sewing and then you guys can be like sewing buddies. How great is that? Well, this has been a chatty video as it usually is with the Let's Chat video, but that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to hear your quick fire answers. And I posted in this in slate last month's Let's Chat video in case you want to get caught up on what was going on last month. So give that a click or check the description box. Lots of links in the description box. So you should probably check that out regardless. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!